Let's take a look at how to set up and record in Reaper, and we're going to do it in five minutes. If you're new to recording or new to Reaper, this will get you going. I'm Keith from no label, no producer, no limits.com. Let's dive right in. If you're going to record at home, you might need a few pieces of gear, a computer, some software on that computer. I use Reaper and that's what we'll be talking about today. Speakers or headphones so you can listen. Any instruments you might want to play and if you're going to record anything acoustically, one or more microphones. And the hub through which all these audio and electronic signals come and go, an audio interface. Once you have that gear, we need to set it up. Now I've got this microphone plugged into my audio interface. The audio interface is plugged into the computer. The signal is captured in the DAW in the computer and comes back to the audio interface and then out to the speakers from there. So the audio interface provides a place to set levels for the various signals coming in and usually a volume control for the levels going out to the speakers. Now it's time to install the software for our audio interface. I'm using an Audient Evo 4, so let's go to the website and search support for downloads and here I have the drivers for the Evo 4. You just download it for your operating system and install it like any other piece of software. Once we install the driver, it's time to set up Reaper to recognize it. So let's go to Options, Preferences, and find Device here if you're not selected already. And for Windows, we select ACO and whatever audio interface we're using. If I were using my Focusrite, I would select Focusrite. I'm using the Audient, so I'm going to select Audient. With a Mac, just use this drop-down to select the correct option. Now the Audient has two inputs, and here they are. I've got inputs enabled. Mic 1 is the first, and the last is Mic 2, only two. And then output range, left and right, 1 and 2. I have the request sample rate box checked and I'm recording at 48K, which is perfectly reasonable. And the block size is 1024. I'd set it for something like 64 or 32 when you're tracking and put it higher like this to mix. After you get that done, you click OK and you're ready to record in Reaper. So here I've set up the audio interface. I have an empty project open in Reaper. I'm ready to record. How do we do that? Well, let's just double click in this area and up comes a new track. I'm going to make it a little bigger and record arm it. Now up here I have this mic line input and I'm going to choose input number two because that's where my mic is plugged into. And now we see levels. Audio interfaces usually have some sort of knob on them, of course, which you can set the level. I've got my level set. Let's turn on a metronome. I'll set the tempo for 120 because we love disco. Now this is the record button. Let's record. Zaz turn blue. What were we supposed to do? I hit the space bar a couple of times. Beautiful take. Let's take it out of record ready. Click twice again. Record ready the second track. Input mic line two. Hit home to get back to the beginning. Let's record another track. Zaz turn blue. What were we supposed to do? Hit the space bar a couple of times. Take this track out of record ready. Turn off the metronome. Let's see what we've got. Zaz turn blue. What were we supposed to do? A more beautiful song has never been sung. Now if I wanted to add guitar to it, I would just double click again, record arm, and plug the guitar into line input number one, I'd be ready to go as soon as I set my level. And that's how simple it is to record tracks in Reaper. Now that's the simplest way to set up Reaper to record, but there are more effective ways to do it and keep your projects organized. There's information below the video on how to do that. Head over to my website and check it out. For now, I'm Keith from no label, no producer, no limits.com. Like, subscribe, share, and comment. It helps keep me going. See you soon. Bye bye. <laughs>